In the luminous tapestry of nostalgia, there exists a singular thread that binds us to the specter of our youth, a shimmering relic known as Degrassi High. Picture the innocence of 1987, a year etched in the annals of television history, as we embarked upon the tumultuous journey with the denizens of Degrassi. As the pixelated screen flickered to life, it birthed not merely a show but an odyssey, a companion through the maze of adolescence. Do you recall that initial dance with Degrassi, a magnetic force pulling you into a realm where teenage tribulations unfolded like the delicate petals of a blooming flower? Faces unfamiliar yet strangely resonant, dilemmas echoing our own struggles. The resonance was more than scripted, it was the harmonious cadence of reality meeting fiction. Perhaps your memory, like mine, harks back to Joey's perpetually rakish grin or the poignant chords of the iconic theme song. And who could forget the clandestine trysts of love and the heart-wrenching crescendos of heartbreak? Degrassi was more than a show, it was a communal experience, a shared rite of passage that stitched its imprint onto the fabric of our formative years. Now, as we stand on the precipice of time, let's peel back the layers and delve into the enigmatic allure of Degrassi High. Random facts, like hidden treasures, await discovery. Did you know that? A high school drama wasn't confined to the screen. It bled into the off-screen lives of the cast. The serpentine tangle of fiction and reality lent an authenticity to the portrayals that resonated far beyond the cathode ray tubes. Every episode was a tapestry woven with the threads of genuine teenage experiences, tackling social issues head-on from teenage pregnancy to drug abuse. The show fearlessly mirrored the intricacies of adolescence. The actors weren't merely players reciting lines. They were, in essence, pioneers of conversations that society often shied away from. Degrassi High was a podium and its cast, the fearless orators, sparking dialogue that echoed far beyond the confines of our living rooms. And so, dear reader, as we traverse the corridors of memory, let these fragments of information spark anew the flames of reminiscence for that bygone era. The 1987 Degrassi High series was not just a show, it was a cultural phenomenon, a crucible where the raw materials of our youth were forged into the steel of adulthood. Join me in this expedition through time as we unearth the fascinating anecdotes and quirks that make Degrassi High an indelible chapter in the book of our shared cultural heritage. For it's not merely about watching, it's about reliving, rekindling, and reconnecting with that wide-eyed version of ourselves. The grassy high where the corridors echoed with laughter, tears, and the timeless cadence of growing up. An odyssey we embarked upon together, one episode at a time. And with that, let the exploration commence, for within the seemingly trivial lies the profound. Welcome to the journey, the journey of Degrassi High, where every fact is a revelation, every character a reflection. Stay tuned, for the real mirrors the real. Degrassi High, a pivotal Canadian TV series that first aired in 1987, emerged as a cultural touchstone, navigating the turbulent terrain of adolescence with unparalleled authenticity. A continuation of the groundbreaking Degrassi Junior High, the show retained its predecessor's commitment to addressing real-life issues faced by teenagers. Set within the eponymous high school, it showcased a diverse ensemble cast grappling with topics ranging from relationships and identity crises to substance abuse and societal pressures. Noteworthy characters like Joey Jeremiah, Spike, and Caitlin Ryan became iconic figures, resonating with viewers as they evolved through the challenges of growing up. The series' hallmark was its unflinching approach to tackling taboo subjects, presenting them in a manner both relatable and educational. This distinctive style not only garnered critical acclaim, but also solidified Degrassi High as a pioneering force in teen television. The impact of the show on popular culture was profound contributing to a shift in the portrayal of adolescence on screen. Degrassi High broke away from conventional tropes, opting for realism over glamour, and this raw depiction left an indelible mark on viewers worldwide. It fostered a sense of empathy and understanding, making it a crucial resource for parents, educators, and teenagers alike. Through its sincere storytelling and empathetic characters, Degrassi High became a cultural touchstone that transcended its era, leaving an enduring legacy in the annals of television history. Degrassi High, unveiling untold realities in the world of 1,987 seconds TV series Degrassi High, certain behind-the-scenes events cast a shadow on the seemingly innocent teenage drama. One such incident revolves around the portrayal of Dwayne 
a character facing a blood test in the episodes titled Bad Blood, Part 1 and Part 2. In an unexpected twist, Neil Hope stepped in for Darren Brown during the pivotal scene where Dwayne undergoes a blood test. Brown, the original actor, harbored a fear of needles, prompting Hope to take his place. This substitution sheds light on the challenges faced by actors behind the camera, illustrating the lengths taken to deliver a convincing performance. Contrary to the on-screen narratives, real-life events involving Jason Byatt Dickens, who played Scott Smith, paint a darker picture. Dickens portrayed the abusive ex-boyfriend of Kathleen Mead on the show. However, off-screen, he faced severe legal troubles. In 2000, Dickens and another woman were arrested for sexually abusing a child and engaging in offenses related to child pornography. This disturbing revelation, surfacing 16 years later in 2016, starkly contrasts the character he portrayed on Degrassi High. Additionally, the series' inaugural episode, Kiss Me, Steph, holds a quirky detail. As Ms. Avery takes attendance, one of the twins, later identified as Heather, and Erica, is erroneously referred to as Stacy. This minor slip adds a touch of humor to the show's otherwise serious tone, showcasing the imperfections that can occur even in scripted television. These incidents, whether a needle-phobic actor stepping in or the stark contrast between on-screen and off-screen personas, unveiled the complexities beneath the surface of Degrassi High. The show, known for tackling teenage issues, inadvertently found itself entangled in the complexities of reality. In the world of Degrassi High, where teenage drama unfolds, these behind-the-scenes revelations remind us that reality often surpasses fiction in its complexity and unpredictability. Pat Mastroianni, known for his role as Joey Jeremiah in the 1987 TV series Degrassi High, seized the opportunity to join the cast when he spotted a flyer at his high school. His father played a crucial role in this decision by picking up the flyer and assisting Joey in completing and submitting the application. Mastroianni was the producer's top pick for the role, and fortunately, he landed the part. During his junior high days, Joey frequented the office of the vice principal, Mr. Lawrence. However, as he transitioned to high school, Joey found himself becoming a familiar face in the principal's office, where Mr. Radich held sway. This shift in authority figures reflected the evolving challenges and experiences of Joey as he navigated the tumultuous terrain of adolescence. Remarkably, Pat Mastroianni stands out in the history of Degrassi High as the sole cast member to appear in nearly every episode throughout the entire series' run. His consistent presence underscores the significant role Joey Jeremiah played in the narrative, contributing to the enduring impact of the show. In the landscape of Degrassi High, Pat Mastroianni's journey from responding to a flyer to becoming a pivotal character exemplifies the fusion of personal experiences and the scripted world of the series. Joey Jeremiah's evolution from the junior high vice principal's office to the principal's office mirrors the character's growth and the series' exploration of the challenges faced by teenagers. Mastroianni's enduring commitment to the role of Joey Jeremiah cements his status as a central figure in the Degrassi High narrative, leaving an indelible mark on the iconic TV series. As we bid adieu to the captivating realm of Degrassi High, let's not merely close the book but savor the vivid chapters that have left an indelible mark on our hearts. The timeless tapestry of friendships, trials, and triumphs that unfolded in 1987 seconds Degrassi High isn't just a television series. It's a mirror reflecting the intricate mosaic of our own lives. As you reminisce about those moments that tugged at your emotions or the characters who became your confidantes, consider this. Degrassi High wasn't merely a show. It was a sanctuary where the nuances of adolescence were painted with honesty. It explored the labyrinth of relationships, the melody of self-discovery, and the poignant cadence of growing up. Perhaps, within its frames, you found echoes of your own journey. Now, here's your moment to shine. Share with us your cherished memories, your favorite episodes that played like a soundtrack to your teenage years, or the characters who felt like old friends. Let the comments below become a treasure trove of shared experiences, a communal celebration of the magic that Degrassi High brought into our lives. As we part ways, I extend my heartfelt gratitude for joining this nostalgic journey. Your time and connection with the series have enriched this dialogue, turning it into a vibrant tapestry woven with your own stories. Until we meet again, keep those Degrassi High memories close to your heart.
for they are, in essence, a part of your unique narrative. Thank you for the trip down memory lane and for sharing a piece of your Degrassi High experience with us. Until next time, keep those memories alive and vibrant.